Hi friends, this is the part 5th of the video series. In this video, we are going to learn uh, another way to apply physics to an object. And also we will be learning how to follow an image, um, how an image will follow your mouse pointer. Okay, so now let's start. The first thing, um, this is another way to um, actually enable physics on an object. So let me tell you how you do it. You type game.physics.start system and inside um, parentheses you tell what type of physics you want to start. So now by writing this line we have started the arcade physics um, system on, in our game and now we can apply that um, arcade physics by writing this line enable and type the object inside these parentheses um, so this this code will enable arcade type of physics with this object we have done this thing we have enabled the arcade physics to this image uh, in a different way in our previous uh, video and this is another yet another way to apply arcade type of physics on an image so if you see this line somewhere when you are learning uh, codes so you should not be confused because it's an another way to uh, apply physics on an object okay so now we have applied physics on our object now let's go ahead and write a condition that is if game dot physics dot <coughs> arcade dot um, um, it was like uh, distance distance to pointer and we pass image and um, input dot act active pointer so it, it, it was like uh, game dot input dot active pointer if it's greater than 8 or 5 we want game dot physics dot arcade dot move to pointer and we will pass image inside it and we will pass a speed like uh, 500 else um, image dot body dot velocity dot set zero don't be confused I am going to explain the code right now okay we have applied the arcade type of physics onto our object now in our update function we have written that if distance to pointer it's a function uh, which this arcade physics provides us that if the distance between image and our mouse pointer is greater than 5 if it's greater than 5 like our image is somewhere here and our pointer is somewhere here then the distance between our pointer and the image is greater than 5 so what we want to do we want to move our image towards the pointer with a speed of 500 okay so this line pretty much uh, moves our image towards the pointer and if the distance between these point these um, image and our our mouse cursor or our pointer is less than 5 
that means we are closer to the pointer our image is closer to the pointer and we want the velocity velocity to be set to be zero okay we don't want our uh, image to go <coughs> beyond our cursor or our pointer okay we want our our image to move towards the pointer and stays there okay stays with the pointer and if we move the pointer again it will start moving again towards the pointer and it will stay there with the pointer so now let's go ahead and test our code if it works or not so here you can see when I move my pointer towards pointer anywhere in the canvas the image starts moving towards the pointer and it stays there and also you can click it and still the score is increasing okay it's fun actually it's fun anyways let me go ahead and recap a little first thing we did here we enabled the physics in a different way on our image object once the physics is enabled we have done we have written two conditions in here first condition is an if condition and we have written that if the distance between the image and and our mouse pointer is greater than 5 that means they are they are far away from each other then we set our physics arcade physics uh, to move towards the pointer and we passed our image and the speed we can decrease the speed as well and <coughs> by doing this if uh, the distance between our our pointer and the image is greater than 5 it will move our image towards our pointer and if the distance is less than 5 that means we are all our image is already closed to the pointer and we we set the velocity to 0 okay so now let's go ahead and see it again okay there you go move the pointer and image will follow move the pointer and image will follow it's fun anyways uh, this was uh, pretty much all about this tutorial um, we'll see you in the next part